guys, I have something to confess. I'm, I'm an addict. I'm addicted to AI programs. What I mean is that I have an affinity for things like upscaling, interpolation, AI assistance, and noise cancellation. Noise cancellation is something that's especially important to me, seeing as I live with others and it gets a bit noisy when I try to make a video or even live stream. This is where a little program called Iris Clarity comes in. Iris Clarity is an AI program that suppresses background noises that aren't your voice. Yeah, that's kind of how it works. Uh, its goal is to make my voice be heard nice and clear in the event of the room suddenly becoming noisy. I'm going to be honest, I didn't hear about Clarity until recently while looking for AI noise suppression options, and Iris Audio Technologies was nice enough to help me make this video. That's right, this video is sponsored. Who would have thought that Jordanam would ever get sponsored at all? Not me. Shut up. So today, we're going to be testing the quality of Clarity and pit it up against another noise suppression technology made by NVIDIA called RTX Voice. The reason why I'm comparing these two is because RTX Voice is directed for content creators and gamers, and both technologies also work differently in terms of how they're processed, and I'll explain that a little bit later. Now, I just want to say, despite this being a sponsored video, I will be giving, you know, my actual honest opinions on things. So, um, yeah, even though it's, you know, it's a sponsored video, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest, I'm not going to... I'm not gonna, you know, meet right the entire time, you know? So our first test is going to be about, um, you know, just general testing of the of the technology. It's just gonna be me talking and then there's gonna be some background noise. Um, I even asked somebody that I'm living with to turn up their TV and have, you know, their game blast loud. And, and um, I'm also gonna be typing on my keyboard. And as usual, like gamers, they, PC gamers mostly, they have very loud keyboards if, you know, they have mechanical keyboards. So, yeah. Um, but yeah. All right. Let's get to the first test. Okay. So basically, we're just going to be, um, I'm going to act like I'm, I'm gaming actually. Um, Man, if it's snowing, so, I ain't going, bro. Uh, <laughs> so what's happening is that I have three audio channels. There is the regular Blue Yeti without any type of noise suppression. Uh, so that means there is no, there is no noise gate, there is no noise cancellation applied to it at all. This is all raw microphone. And, uh, the other one will be NVIDIA RTX voice. And then the third one <laughs> will be Iris Clarity. Why is there a seal in the background? Anyways, um, so yeah. And then we're just going to be typing. I have an audible keyboard. It's quite clicky. It is a Razer or not a Chroma. Um, it's it's not the it's not the best keyboard that I've had, but it is it is a keyboard and it's quite loud. Um, it's not as loud as my other one, as my past one, but uh, it does do the job. Uh, I actually have been testing it out for like a few weeks. Don't know how if I'm going to keep it or not. I might go back to my blue switch keyboard, which is actually quite louder. I think I might switch it around during the night. Um, I'm not sure, but, uh, why do your balls hurt? Keyboard sounds are pretty, pretty loud. Hold on, I'll even show it up, show it to everybody. Hold on, I broke it. Yeah, I'm typing. I'm typing away. It's right in front of the keyboard. It's, it's right in front of the mic. It's right in front of the Yeti. So, yeah. What are you, what are you talking about? I said I'm typing away, not typing away. What? Are, what? Anyways. Um, yeah, I'm typing. You can see it. Uh, you probably see my, uh, wait, did I cut my nails? I think I did. Yeah, I cut my nails. Um, and then I guess when I do play, like, things like Smash, platformer games, FPS games, I do use a controller, so I'm gonna have a controller right in front of the, the Yeti mic. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna cut it out or anything. It probably will. Why, why do I hear a goat in the background? You're not the goat, by the way. Don't, don't even try to make that joke. I'm him, by the way. You're not him, by the way. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm clicking. I'm mashing. Uh, what? Huh? What laugh is? What laugh is that? I'm, I'm in a silly, goofy mood. It's, it's not a silly, goofy I'm mood. A, you just, you, you, you need help. I'm a, I'm a, you, you need help. Anyways, that's a test. Um, yeah. I, I'm actually very impressed by how well Iris Clarity's doing. Actually, it's, 
it's it's something like it's this is really good for streaming like holy yeah that's that's nice i'm gonna have to i'll i'll be switching it around in post so you'll be able to hear like uh just a yeti mic being played and then uh <laughs> and then rtx voice being played and then You'll have Irish clarity being played. So yeah, you'll you'll be able to tell the difference. Right now I can't. I'm only looking at the audio waves right now. Anyways. Alright. From looking back at the footage, I noticed a few differences between RTX voice and Iris Clarity. Both for sure have their pros and cons. Like they definitely are kind of like equal. Um starting with RTX voice, I noticed that even though the quality of the microphone sounded better. It did have trouble keeping that quality and then there was some clipping while I was talking. I'm pretty sure you guys heard that as uh, the video was playing. Uh, it kind of seemed like it was getting a bit confused on who was the primary speaker. Uh, Iris Clarity didn't have this issue. It was pretty consistent the entire time. However, the mic did sound softer than RTX voice. You can tell it was trying to take out the background noise. Both at times did pick up RTX's voice in the background but I would say that RTX voice handled it better as I noticed that he showed up in the clip less. But another thing I do notice, and this is from prior knowledge, RTX voice has problems picking up my voice when I get excited. And this usually happens when I play games. Uh, it'll cut off a lot when I get louder. Iris Clarity, however, doesn't do that and seems to recognize my voice just fine. So now let's get into the main differences between RTX voice and Iris Clarity. The biggest elephant in the room is that RTX voice is only available on NVIDIA GPUs. Now granted, RTX voice is available on GTX cards as well, but 14% of players on Steam have an AMD card and 14% is a lot of people. And that's a lot of people being unable to use the program simply because they don't have a NVIDIA card. And while I do have a G dual GPU set up, which lets me both have an AMD card and a NVIDIA card, a lot of gamers aren't and or can't be in the same situation I'm in. Irish Clarity is available to everyone. It's not hardware locked and will run on any system that runs on Windows and Mac. Sorry, Linux users. And for the quality of noise suppression it does, I think it's well worth using. My main gripe about Iris Clarity, however, is that it's software accelerated, meaning that it runs on the CPU while RTX Voice is hardware accelerated, so it runs directly on the NVIDIA GPU. This kind of hurt me, as I want to keep as much CPU power open for gaming, while I leave my GTX 1650 to handle all the processing of content creation. When I used Iris Clarity, I noticed that it was using up 10% of my Ryzen 7 5800X, and when it comes to overall gaming while the app is running in the background and using that CPU power, um, without benchmarks, I didn't really notice too much of a change in performance, though. Um, I'm sure if I benchmark the games and put them in a spreadsheet somewhere, there might be decreases in performance. But overall, I'm still enjoying games just fine. The setup of Clarity was very straightforward, too. You install it, sign in with your Clarity account, choose your input device for the microphone, go to Discord, OBS, Gamecaster, whatever you, whatever you usually use and swap out your microphone with the new Iris Clarity option and you're done. It wasn't a hassle or anything really special. It was all pretty to the point. App was out of the way, didn't pop up randomly or anything, just stayed in the background after setting it up. So the cost of Iris Clarity is about $10 a month uh, US dollars or $75 a year. And um, I think that's a pretty good deal, honestly. Um, it's a it's a little bit high for me, uh, personally. But um, if you're like a regular content creator or streamer, and you know you've you've kind of made it out there and you know are getting quite a bit of money from streaming, I, I would suggest using this uh, if you want to up your your mic game, I guess, and, and not have a lot of background noise. Like right now it's July 4th and there are fireworks going off like crazy in my neighborhood. And I don't think any of you can hear it at all. RTX is technically free. You do need a GTX or RTX card for it. And if you have a laptop with like a Radeon GPU or, you know, you have a Intel laptop with uh, Iris XE graphics or, you know, that new uh, A370M or those, any of those Intel Arc GPUs, uh, you're unfortunately out of luck. Like. You just can't, you can't get it unless you, you know, did a weird workaround to get 
an external GPU on it, which is a lot of work and that's a lot of more money than you should be paying for. So, um, but I won't get into all that. I honestly think it's worth it if you, like I said, you're a creator that is like a regular content creator and you know, you make money frequently from it. Um, and if you don't want to pay right away, there's even a seven day trial that you can do to test the technology out. And I would highly recommend testing it out for yourself. Overall, I'd say this is a really good option for content creators that want to be heard crisp and clear while gaming, streaming, or simply recording games. While it has some drawbacks, it's still a fairly new program that's continuously getting updated and actively listening to user feedback. During my testing, I even gave some feedback to Iris and they were very open to the ideas. I would again like to thank Iris Audio Tech for providing me with the resources to make this video. In fact, this entire voiceover was made using Clarity and I'm actually really impressed. Like I'm, I'm super impressed. I'm gonna have to keep using this. I'm gonna actually have to just subscribe to a uh, to clarity because this is really good uh the product's link will be in the description uh, all right i'm gonna go squeal to my friends about this moment i'll see you all later Bye bye